Okay, so Marita, yeah, you're telling us about your 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 counselling and everything. Yeah, um, we have started the organisation Use of Quietness in 2012. Yeah, and um, this is a space that we're going to be working from. Um, we want to build a restoration centre on this field. Yeah. So. With the center, everything will be in place. When you come in, you will start as a victim that is broken. But we will go the stages. Okay, when you say uh, uh, a victim, you mean children and adults. Children and adults. Uh, Anybody that is a victim. And not just gender violence, but also school problems. Anybody, yeah. anybody. Um, remember, the, victim support is for anybody. It's so not what, just. What are the two main types of of difficulties? I think you said it was gender violence and people at school, or what? I, I yes, the gender uh, gender based violence is the one. Yeah. And then children that is struggling in school. Yeah. Because you know, with children struggling in school, we always quick to say the child is naughty. It's a yeah. child that is undisciplined. If you go into the situation, then you will see it started somewhere. Yes. 80% it starts at home. Yes. Where when there is violence in the home, yes. the child cannot vent, the child cannot fight with the dad. Yeah. So he comes to school with that it's heavy load on his shoulder. Completely depressed. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, um, and you can see it immediately. Yes. And now somebody at school just says a wrong word to him and he will vent and lash out at so that now person. You, you working with, 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 with Delta Primary as well? Or? Delta Primary is one of the schools Which that is actually adjoining here, isn't it? Where is it? Where is Delta Primary? There's, uh, that's Delta oh, there's Primary. The school. Yeah, yeah there's that's the school. Delta Primary there. Yeah. So um, that is okay. basically, and, and because of the challenge with social workers assigned to the school, yeah. um, while waiting on a social worker, we will sort of try and um, get no, a process that's quicker. Yeah, because we, there's not enough social work. Yes, no, there's definitely yeah. not enough. And they take months to start to, yeah. So then we have a relationship with a day hospital again for that yeah. child, where yeah. the child can be assessed. Yeah. And we are also um, registered as a health organization. Okay. So it's within our uh, um, mission yeah. that we can sort of get things going for this child yeah and um yeah then then what our challenges here are we need more containers okay even so just if, talk about that what, what yeah even if it's containers that we're going to stack on top of each other or or, or put around because we have like a basic plan of how we want it to be done. Yeah. So whoever wants to see the plan, we can show them the plan yeah. and they can see I, what I, the idea I've got that is. Yeah. Yes. So then they can see what the idea is so of just, what we want on the Just Summarize field. What, what the different ones would be used for. Look, you will have your victim friendly room. Yeah. You will have a special counseling room. Yes. When you say Why a victim, a victim friendly, friendly yeah. room is yeah. when you have children. Yeah. You know, you will have your teddies and your yeah. your settee, your, your TV, things like that you yeah. will have in there. Yeah. Then you will have your counseling room. Yeah. We will have like a boardroom where we can run workshops in. Okay. And then we will have a... a we, we also can, want to have a small little shelter. Yes. For destitute abused women because yes. there's a gap. And you can do that in a in a container. Yes. Yeah. You, you know if you take a yeah. container like this size and put a uh, put dormitories in the container then you yeah. can use it because a gender based violence yeah. or domestic violence shelter will not take a destitute woman. Yeah. So the destitute woman is stranded. Yeah. Because even the havens, they take the female, they yeah. take the male, you're talking, but they're not... You're talking about homeless people. Yes, yeah. they don't take uh, uh, the children because they say they're not zoned That's for right. children. And they don't take families, yeah. Exactly. So, so we want to try 
and change that yeah. for that person because you know what? That is why you end up with people being homeless because that mother doesn't want to separate from the child. Correct. Yeah. And then that mother's on the road with that child, yeah. which is I so feel, traumatizing I feel, I feel for that. that it's very sad, yeah, yeah. It's, it's so traumatizing for that mother with that child. Yeah. Okay. So now, in fact, the, the, you, you, you're a trained counselor and you've been doing it for a long time. Almost 30 years. 30 years of counseling. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And you're working with SAP as well, eh? Yes, I work from um, Steamboat Police Station. Yeah. 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 And now this, this lease of land, just tell me if there's anything I'm forgetting, but I'm just going to say what I'm trying to get across to any potential sponsors. Okay. Is that this land, and is, is how, how, how big is it? It's 8,000 square meters. Wall, yeah. and, and you've already, you've already, <laughs> you've already secured a lease. <laughs> yes, we're in the process of, of, of securing a lease. In fact, the school principal, Yes. Uh, stood in for us okay. for that lease. Uh, but now, so that now you said there's two leases. You already secured one of them. Which one is that? This one. It's a, it's a lease for this field. But you said there's two kinds of lease, a permanent or something. No. What happens is uh, because the lease is 10 years old, yeah. it's going to be for 10 years. Yeah. The lease first had to go to sub council okay. and they have signed it off. Yes. But because it's 10 years, yes. it has to go to a full council so we waiting on the final document so, from so it actually council. has been signed off by sub council yes but it has to be for 10 and then it's 10 year lease then it uh, probably will be 10 years yes and, and and it's and it's very affordable just less than a thousand rand a month which is very good of the city of cape town to do that because it's a, because a it's thousand a, it's a rand social, per annum oh per annum well that's yes. a, that's a social service yes you know. yes let's just quickly take a walk here and then also you're going to do the gardening here. Yes, this is um, it's, it's going to be a food garden. Yes. Um, well, it is already a food garden. It is a food garden. Starting. Because that uh, will also Just one thing. Let me ask you, how long have you been here? I've been here since 2017. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And, and it's very hard to get it off the ground. Yes. Yeah, okay. So now the, you, part of it is, is you could actually have the community that gets fed here. Yes, we they, feed up to 200 plus per day here, uh, uh, and we feed them from Mondays to Fridays. So, as I understand it, um, uh, that you're trying to put, a, uh, you have to put fencing around here. Yes. So that the food is, is secure. Yes, yes. And you're trying to do the pallets. Yeah. We need pallets to sort of... Okay. And especially for the gardening to... to because otherwise you have children running onto the field yeah. and they run in the garden over the plants, they pull it out and okay. those are the challenges we have. But now so far, these people that are being fed here, yes. they, they could also work and it would be very therapeutic in the garden. Look, we've asked, we have... Like this fellow? Yeah, we have two, but this guy is the guy that is really... Um, committed. He's really committed. He's here every day. And how long has he been here for? He's been here over a month now. Well, let's talk to him. But, but I mean, I think when, when you know, it's, it's when people see that it's starting to happen, they will. Yes, yeah. Yeah. So, hi. So, what's your name? My name is Daryl Williams. Daryl. I'm just, yes. you can explain to us what, you, what you're doing here. I'm busy with the vegetable garden. Yeah. And I'm trying to help the community, to be yeah. for my community. Yeah. And, and what have you planted? Anything here, Carol? No, I'm waiting. So I'm, I'm, I'm busy preparing the food. Uh, preparing it, eh? I'm busy preparing the garden. Okay, and so what do you need? I'm needing um, um, material, seedling, seedling for covering the, the, f the fence. And, and Jenny is also helping with that, eh? Jenny yes, from yes. Yeah. You know Jenny, yeah. Yes. And even if we can get that netting to put cover yeah. the... Yeah, but the thing is that, that you've got a massive area here. It's all yeah. a question of costing and yes. getting, getting it all right because basically vegetables are costing an absolute fortune, you know. And, I, and there's, a, there's, a, there's a little compost over there. Yeah. So, yeah, okay, I mean, that's, that's great.